Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm checking out this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon four-door in anvil clear coat. This is the new color for 2024. Stock number on this one is 24J6. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you all the new options for 2024, show you all the options on this particular Jeep Wrangler. And uh, at the end of the video, we're gonna turn on all those LED lights in the front so you can see just how nice and bright they are. I'm also gonna go over the 35 inch tire, um, extreme tire and wheel group, which this one has, and uh, check out the original window stickers. So definitely sit back and enjoy the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll get updates every time I do videos of our new and used inventory here at Summit Auto. So right off, you can see that the grill is completely different. Not completely, but fairly different than the 2023. It's a little bit shorter than the old grill. And what they've done is they've just made this lower. It actually still goes down as far as the old ones did, um, but they just redesigned the actual painted part. LED headlamps are gonna be standard now on all the Jeeps except the Sport package and the Sport S package. You can make, it's an option on the Sport S, uh, but you get the LED running lights and the fenders, halo lights, LED headlamps, and the LED fog lamps. Like I said, they're super bright, so I can't wait to show you those at the end of the video. This one has the granite crystal inserts on the grill, as well as the light surrounds. This one just has the plastic bumpers. Anvil clear coat is the new color for 2024. It has replaced Sting Gray. Um, let me know in the description below if you like the color. It's a little bit more blue than Sting Gray and a little bit darker. You get the trail rated badge there. Why that's important is because that's where they used to mount the antenna, which is no longer there because it's in the windshield. All the windshields now are also Gorilla Glass and they all have the antennas in the windshield. The 35 inch tire and wheel group gives you the BF Goodrich all-terrain TAKO2 tires. These are LT31570 R17s and these are 17 by eight inch beadlock capable wheels, the new design on those wheels, and of course the new center caps as well. Uh, very off-road, all-terrain type tires on here. Those BF Goodriches are nice. There's a look at the suspension. Of course, the Rubicon package is one of the most off-road capable Wranglers that they make uh, with the sway bar disconnect and locking axles and everything. Get the rock rails on there as well. T50 on the doors, take those doors off. And uh, we did a video on how to take your JL doors off. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Here's the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything, but most of it. 2024 Wrangler four door Rubicon. This one has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, eight speed automatic transmission. Anvil clear coat is outside color. Black interior is the interior color. I'm gonna venture and say it's more like dark charcoal, but you can decide for yourself. Everything on your left is your standard equipment there. Interior features, they all come with the 12.3 inch Uconnect 5 radio now. And exterior features are right there. Anvil clear coat is a $595 option, which all the colors are except white. Extreme 35 inch tire package is $39.95, 17 by 8 inch painted black aluminum wheels the tires there as well as the hinge gate reinforcement that's all part of that four thousand uh, dollar tire and wheel group convenience group is 995 gives you heated seats heated steering wheel and remote start i think that's a good deal to get all that for a thousand bucks eight speed automatic transmission gives you the select speed control and adaptive cruise control with stop that's a twenty five hundred dollar option the black three-piece hardtop is a fourteen hundred ninety five dollar add-on total msrp on this vehicle is sixty thousand seven seventy and if you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below is a link to our website to this vehicle. So check us out there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain, 20 miles per gallon city, 20 miles per gallon highway for an average of, you guessed it, 20 miles per gallon. There is the emission ratings and then it's not ranked for any um, crash tests yet. So the Extreme Tire and Wheel Group also gives you the upgraded brakes. It also gives you the fender flares on here, which are pretty cool. And what they do is they make sure that your wheel's not sticking out past those fenders, because with those tires, if it, the fender ended there, 
they'd be sticking out and that would not be legal. Also, the back tail lamps have to be spaced out a little bit and when they do that, they had to put these spacers in here and there's Ralph, there's a little dog on there, Ralph for righty and left has Louie. You get the LED tail lamps as well, the hinge gate reinforcement right there and then the uh, trailer hitch, receiver hitch and wire, uh, four pin and seven pin wiring on there. There's a better look at that tread. And there's Louie. Forgot to show him in the other video I did on this one. Back here, everything's pretty much the same. You get your case for your front hardtop pieces. Hardtop's gonna come off exactly the same as all the other JLs. The only difference, uh, you still have four bolts on each side. The only difference is that your quick disconnects, instead of plugging into a piece right here, they now plug in inside of this case right here. This pops right off. And uh, there's a spot back here for plugging those in. You can see right there. And then the windshield washer fluid uh, secures right there. So that's the only thing that's really different. We actually did a demo on how to take your JL hardtop off if you want to check that out. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. Storage under there, that's a very popular video by the way. Door hinge and roof and windshield bolt holders back here. Get these seven slots on the back gate as well. And the JL badge has not changed, two door, four door, uh, overall length and wheelbase as well as water fording. That's the same badge as the 2023 as well. That door shuts nice and solidly even with the uh, big tire and wheel on the back there. This one does have the heated power mirrors. You also get the um, enter and go system. You just have to have the key fob in your pocket. Open that up. Back seats have not changed on the Wranglers. You get the latch child safety system back here. You still get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two cup holders back here. You can still put just the headrest down and you can put the backrest down as well and they go down just as flat as they always did. The one difference back here is you get individual interior lights and the speakers are a little bit different shaped, I believe. Child safety locks in the back doors still. And the new interior for most of the Wranglers is this dark charcoal, what Jeep calls black interior. You get the Rubicon stitched in the backrest on this one, the red stitching throughout. Unfortunately, this one does not have the power seat group. Uh, you do have to upgrade to leather to get the power seat. And then it does, this one still has the seat height adjuster and the lumbar on it. The other new thing for 2024 is this little badge right here. You get the Wrangler and the Gladiator on there. That looks pretty cool. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power locks and power mirrors. You also get this new material on the dash. Um, I thought it was going to be leather, but it doesn't, it's like textured, so that would lead me to believe that it's not really leather, it's some sort of uh, synthetic um, material on there. Kind of feels like leather though. Get the red piece right there. Still get the 7 inch LCD display. Rubicon animation at the beginning, everything's the same there. You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Looks like the leather on the steering wheel is a little bit more soft touch. Um, I like the feel of it. Looks better too than the uh, 2023 for some reason. Adaptive cruise control and regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. I think adaptive cruise control, they're going to make that standard uh, pretty soon across the board on every vehicle. We're already seeing it in the Grand Cherokees uh, where you can... You can't get a vehicle without adaptive cruise control and forward collision warning and all that safety feature stuff. So I think the Wrangler's going down that route as well. This is the 12.3 Uconnect 5 uh, radio and it's run on Android. It's also uh, the standard radio across all the trim levels on the Wranglers. So uh, definitely a cool radio. You get your home screen. You can check out your media, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. This one does have the climate controls on here. And you can see you get your dual climate controls there, your heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons. You have your vehicle options on here. You can check out the backup camera. Now they've made the backup camera like eight inches, so 
uh, they didn't have to do any recalibration from the 8.4 radio. Uh, they just kind of added this Jeep logo over here and kept everything the same for the dimensions. So, you know, nothing got screwed up um, that way. Anyways, it's nice and clear in HD, which is great if you're hooking up a boat, camper, trailer to your uh, trailer hitch. You can get hooked up the first time. Every time you have all your different settings in here, you have all your different apps in here as well. And I'm not going to go through everything, but I'll just show you all the apps that are on here. It does have Android Auto. So while this one doesn't have nav, uh, back to the, like the standard radio. So you can either get this radio or you can get this radio with nav included. This one does not have nav included, but it does have Android Auto where you can project your cell phone to the screen. So you can, and it has Apple CarPlay as well. So you can project your cell phone if you got Waze or Google Maps on your phone, project it right to the screen. And then it's like you have nav right on the screen anyway. So that's kind of a cool um, option to have. Uh, you get your dual or your uh, latitude, longitude, altitude. You get your pitch and roll on here, your accessory gauges on the off-road pages, and then your vehicle dynamics. So as you turn the steering wheel, you can see that that steering wheel steering angle changes as well as the wheels turn up there. Let me get in closer a little bit. You can see that they actually turn, which is pretty cool. You got your transfer case if it's locked or unlocked, your front axle if it's locked or unlocked, same thing with the rear axle and the sway bar if it's connected or disconnected. So you can do all that stuff with your off-road pages. And there are the other apps on there. Down here, your more tactile volume tune and climate controls, including your heated seat buttons, your uh, start-stop capability, stability control, select speed crawl control, power windows, everything's the same down here. You get your four auxiliary switches with that tow package, sway bar disconnect, off-road plus mode, and you can lock and unlock your front and rear axles. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. 4x4 shifter on the floor and uh, your 8-speed automatic transmission. That is the same. Still get the big bulky key fob with the flipper key remote start on there as well. Take another look at that material on that dash. Like I said, I don't know if it's leather. I'm not really sure what they consider that. I'll have to do some more research. The other thing that's different, they've changed this dash on the top up here. Uh, it's a little bit different looking. They've got the centerpiece there as well. You also have the vents underneath the radio. The radio used to come down to there, but now it's obviously they got the vents there and you don't have the big circle vents on the side like you do on the ends there. Uh, the other thing, the front LED lights are different as well. Used to just be one big center stack of lights right here, but now they put them in the front and in the back. Front hardtop pieces come off just the same as the old one, and you do get assist and SOS buttons up there. Home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. Uh, cool thing about the Gorilla Glass, you get the gor Gorilla in the windshield up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all the lights as promised, and then we're going to do a final walk around of the vehicle. And you're going to be able to see just how bright all these lights are. Uh, last year, I started doing the walk around on the lights uh, and the Wranglers, and I said I wouldn't get a Wrangler without the LED light group. And uh, I think Jeep was listening to my videos because they've made them pretty much standard across the board now on all the trim levels, except Sport and Sport S. So let me turn the lights off and we'll do a final walk around here. Okay, you can see just how bright those lights are. Everything in the front here is LED, the headlights, the running lights, the fog lights, all extremely bright. And you can see just how much they illuminate in front there. Um, even the side markers are LEDs as well. And you come around to the back and these back tail lamps are LEDs as well. And before you yell at me for forgetting one major option on the interior, I'm gonna get to it. Uh, but just take a look at those LED tail lamps and the license plate lights. They all look really good. So I did forget one really big thing that Jeep has done on the interior and it's a safety feature and I can't believe I forgot it. Um, but they put side curtain airbags standard on the Wranglers now. So that's a big safety feature and definitely applaud Jeep for doing that. Um, makes them just a little bit safer. But anyways, I uh, didn't want to forget that as long as we're going over a 2024 here. 
And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the options, looks and styling on this particular Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with the 35 inch extreme tire and wheel group. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, you'll get updates in the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive, including, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and get updates on the videos I do each and every day. And you can also get access to all the catalogs of vehicles, one of the largest catalogs of Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra brand new, it's brand new, not ultra clean, but it is ultra clean too. Brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon four door in Anvil clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks again.